Now a few other supplies that you absolutely need is first of all a funnel. Now remember if you saw on the fermenter or carboy, whatever you want to call it, it has a really thin or narrow neck. So whenever you're dumping it in from a bucket or a kettle, you're going to splash it all over if you don't have a funnel. It's going to get all over the place, so please get a funnel and don't use the same one that you use on your car. Another thing that you need is a thermometer. Now I'm going to be talking to you guys about the right temperature and when you use this, but just remember to have a thermometer and if you buy a kit, um, they always come with a thermometer, so there you go. Now the last thing that you absolutely need is sanitizer. Now unsanitized equipment is the number one reason for contaminated beer. Remember what we're going to be doing is we're basically going to be letting this beer sit for two to four weeks on average. Now if you let any other food or drink sit for two to four weeks it's going to get rotten and spoiled because of all the bacteria in the atmosphere. So we need to keep all of our equipment clean and I recommend the Star Sand Sanitizer. It is the best, no, you know, this is hands down, you can't even argue this, no rinse sanitizer, Star Sand, the best um, sanitizer for home brewing. Now another piece of equipment that is actually kind of optional but I highly recommend is called a wart chiller. That's what this is right here. Now whenever we boil the beer, it needs to cool down as fast as possible. Now people have different ways that they do this. Some people actually set it in a snow bank if it's uh, you know winter outside. Some people put it in an ice bath in their bathtub. This is one of the best ways. It's called a wart chiller. And I'm going to be showing you guys exactly how it works later on. It basically acts like a big radiator. You put water in through one end, comes out the other end, stick it in your wart and it cools it almost, it cools it in minutes. And if you put it in an ice bath or something, it's going to take almost over half an hour to cool down. So again, this is called a wart chiller and I highly recommend it. So that's all the basic equipment that you need to start brewing your beer. Now, of course, whenever you bottle your beer, you're going to need a bunch of other equipment. For example, bottles, caps, and the little capper to, you know, put the cap on the bottle. But I'm going to be separating that in kind of a different segment. So I'm going to be going over all the bottling equipment when our beer is done and we're ready to bottle it. But if you guys are like, all right, I have to go out and find all that equipment right there. Well, actually, no. Whenever people get started brewing beer, the easiest way is just to go online and buy a beer starter kit. It comes with all the equipment that you need and even extra. So that's what I highly recommend. It's very easy. You get everything all in one package, and it's also cheaper than buying everything individually. So uh, now that we went over all the equipment, let's go ahead and get started brewing some beer.